this thing right here is called a relation. What a relation is, is just a set of ordered pairs. So there's an X and a Y value for each of these points. Um, you could also write a relation in set notation. If you were to do that, you'd put those curly brackets and then just put the, the X and Y values for each of the points. Let's see, we have uh, negative three comma negative three. That's that point over here. And we also have three comma negative two. Oops, I forgot the parentheses. Negative two. And then we have zero comma four. And we have negative two, three, three. And close off the curly braces. So this right here is the same thing as this graph. It's a, it's a relation, it's a set of points. Now they want us to find the domain and the range. And if you haven't run into these two words before, a domain of either a relation or a function is just all of the x values. And the range is all of the y values. So if we wanted to do the domain here, we could just make a set with all of the x numbers. So that's the first number of each of these pairs. So I have uh, negative 3. I'm just going to put them in order from least to greatest, negative 2, and 0, and three. So those are all the x values here, negative three, negative two, zero, and three. So that is the domain of this relation. And if we want the range, we just pick all of the y values. So we've got, let's do it from smallest to greatest again. We've got negative three, we've got negative two, uh, we've got three and four for y values. So negative three was here, whoops, here, then negative two and three and four. So domain all the x, range all the y, and that's how you write the domain and the range of a relation.